let's start our learning about the angular forms by using the template driven approach here we are using the same application that we have built throughout this course here is the entire code and let's run this application by using the ng server command The application is working fine on the browser and here it is running on 4200 port. Okay, let's navigate to the all books section and here we are having the list of all the books that we have in our service. Now I want to add a new feature in this application to add a new book. Let's see how to do that. And first because we are talking about the template driven approach. So we will design a form by using the template driven. To work with the forms in Angular application first let's create a new component so that we can have all the controls in that particular component and let's give it a name add books so for that let's open a new terminal window let's use the cli command nggc so i can create a new component inside the books module so we have app we are having books then we have the components and inside this components folder i can create a new component with name add book you can give any meaningful name based on your need then so let's put the proper path components and then add book just hit the enter button we are having a new component over here the name is add book let's add one route as well to navigate to this particular component so here is this books routing and over here i can add a new path path let's say i'm having new or you can also have add book like that but let's say here it is new because first we have books and after the books i will be having new then let's add the component the component name is add book component good now let's go to the old books here we are and over here let's add one button so i'm having this button add new book and let's use the angular material mat button let's go to the browser here on the books you can see we are having this new button and let's basically use the raised button so here we have this design of the button and we can also add the color is equals to primary there we go so here we are having this button and on click of this button i want to navigate to this new component and for that i can use the router link over here and here on this router link i can add new let's go to the browser and let's click on this add new book you can see we are having this proper navigation that is books new and we are having this message from the add book component now it is time to work with a form over here so first let's put a proper title so let's say i'm having this h2 add new book and you can create a form in angular by using the pure html tags so first i'm having this form let's remove this action because it is not required as of now and over here i'm having one input and let's add one button and here i'm having save save all the changes go back to the browser what do we have we are having this title we are having this input type is equal to text and we are having this button so this is a very common code from the html we are having simple form tag we are having this input tag and we are having this button okay now let's make it special and to make it special in angular we have to import one module first so because we are dealing with the books module so in the books module i can import one module so here we are in the books module and the name of that module is forms module so if you want to add the forms in your angular application and you want to get all the features of the angular or all the powers of angular then you have to import that module over here and the name is not here in the imports array the name is forms module just save all the changes now what will happen if you are using the forms module in your application it means all the forms that you are using inside that module those will become special how angular will insert one directive with name ng forms in those forms automatically so if i will go over here on this add books component then if i go to this particular form and because we are using the forms module in this particular application or in this module 
so angular will insert one ng forms directive in this form and that ng forms will make it special this one this is that ng forms by default we do not have to write it but if you want to get its reference then you can use the template reference variable for example i'm having this my forms angular form using this directive we can get so many things from this particular form before adding more fields in this form first let's understand more about this ng form so because we are having this template reference variable so we can use it in the template by using the view child and in this view child i can pass the name let's say here it is and let's use the element ref and because we will make some changes in the view so we need a hook so that we can have our changes once the view is updated and for that you already know that we can use after view checked this one let's implement this method and let's console its value and i'm having my forms save all the changes go back to the browser and open the developer tool so you can right click anywhere on the browser window and choose this inspect go to the console section over here and just see what we have we are having two ng forms so let's see what we have over here in this ng form we are having one form ng submit submitted ng context directives on destroy callbacks and there are so many other things available over here we are having this async validator controls dirty disabled and at the bottom side you will see we are having this value so as of now in this value you will see we do not have anything because because there is something that we are missing in this form and once we will add that thing then we will have the values over here okay but these are some very important things from the ng form and we will use them in upcoming videos if you want to display all the values of this form over here just for the testing purpose then you can also do that so over here let's use one s2 tag just to have the proper visibility so here i'm using the interpolation and i'm using this my forms save the changes let's go back to the browser and here you can see we are having object object this entire object has been placed over here now if you want to see its data let's use the value again it is saying object object we can format this data by using a pipe the pipe is something that we have not discussed so far in this course we will do that in upcoming videos and there are some built-in pipes in angular you can also create your own pipes we'll discuss more about that in upcoming videos but here just understand that this data we are formatting it in the json form and this json is a built-in pipe by the angular now let's see what we have we are having an empty object and here you might wonder that we are having one input box in this form we are having one button but still this value object is empty even if i enter something over here still it is empty and nothing is happening over here this is because we are missing one thing in this form and once we will add that thing then this object will be in a proper working shape let's see what is that missing thing so here we are in the form to work with the template driven approach we have to add one ng model over here just save all the changes go back to the browser this time you will see we are getting one error if ng model is used within a form tag either the name attribute must be set or the form control must be defined as stand alone so if you are using the ng model in the template driven approach then you have to provide the value for the name attribute and here we have not provided anything for the name that is why we are getting this error so here let's say i'm having text save the changes go back to the browser and this time you will see we are having one property over here in this form if i type something over here immediately you will see we are having that value over here in the console window also you will see we are having all the properties the form is not submitted yet and if i go to this values you will see we are having one property with name text is one two three okay let's try to add a few more fields over here so here it is let's say it is first name the first one and this one is the last name so let's put proper name and use the br tag just to get the new line one br tag here also okay you can see we are having two input box and one button if i type something over here in this first one 
the value has been updated in this object if i type something in the second one the value has been updated over here so using this approach we are having a proper updated object this is how you can design the very basic form in angular